Live here from the command center in Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Here is my system here, and I was sitting and contemplating what I'm gonna do or what we talked about today. But folks, this is my 24 and 48 volt off-grid solar system. You guys have seen that, many of you guys, but today we have a special topic and things that we wanna talk about. It's about solar, but more of technology, how things incorporate with everything and how we do things in the real world and getting all these uh, um, domain where we so store information and videos to reach people across the globe or the world now, which we are using now for main communication reaching everybody everywhere even if you live in the dirt age or maybe in a hole as long as you have access to the internet you can get what the message we're trying to talk about now you don't have to you can go into politics you can go into anything you can go into news you can go into movie photographs and everything this is how we communicate now the 21st century Welcome to JW Solar USA. We're bringing you a coverage a little bit about how YouTube operate. And in the studios today, I have uh, I have a, a my co-worker right here and a guest, you know, and which I'm going to be introducing you to you guys, you know, just as a, so why didn't you say he hello to the to my audience there? Oh, hey YouTube. Um I'm joining JW Solar. Uh, I'm Oomph Guy. I am uh, here to help explain about YouTube. So we have in a dialogue here what's going on, how YouTube has started and how YouTube has created all this kind of content and we're reaching all over the world. But before we today, some of us and some people around here don't even know how things started. Just like we are starting our solar system here and you started with a a crazy system and I was like, oh well I don't like this I wish I can do it all over again so these guys face obstacles and you know improvements and um, all stop stumbling around but hey we talk about YouTube right now so what's up so what do you know about YouTube well the first fact actually is that YouTube was founded by three guys just three people really yeah mm-hmm their names are Chad Hurley, Steve, Steve Chen, and also Jared Kareem. And they were all employees of PayPal. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So they, 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 so they started with another company, really, PayPal, which is PayPal, PayPal? Yeah, PayPal, the same PayPal you use when, you know, someone sends you some money oh, online you, oh, for you pay for PayPal. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. So what happened to them? Well, Hurley actually studied design in Indiana, and Chen and Kareem studied computer science in Illinois. Hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. So they're, they're coming from, like, kind of similar, Di different backgrounds. Different backgrounds. Yeah, yeah. Especially two, okay. Yeah. But the other one is, like, a design. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Oh, that explained better. So one is going to be showing the layout about YouTube, how the, the layout, the platform, everything's going to look like. Right, how it's going to well, work. Well, how it's going to work and which you have the engineers who knows about the network, how to network this thing, how to reach the individual, all mm -hmm. of us around the globe. So I see that. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of both design and efficiency, Actual get, actually getting the thing to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. so you see... You know, sometimes it's nice to work by yourself, but you need some partners sometimes. But anyway, so tell me more about these guys. Well, it was actually at a dinner party at Chen's apartment in San Francisco. He had the idea after people started shooting some videos at his party. Kareem didn't attend the party, but he also had a separate inspiration for YouTube. And that was from Janet Jackson's accident in the 2004 Super Bowl. Oh, oh, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. a little okay, when they make that with, uh, was it Justin Timberlake? I think so. I think yeah, so. so Justin Timberlake, they said, is uh, some people were saying inappropriate that they grab um, 
some uh, the clothing of Janet Jackson. They said that was designed to do that when something happened, an yeah, accident. Like so that. tell me more about it. Mm -hmm. Additionally, with the accident, Kareem also got inspiration from the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Oh. Because it was hard to find those clips anywhere, he figured, hey, what if we made a place where we could find videos like that? Huh. Really? So, um, uh, what uh, Kareem talked about it with uh, Chen, because I think Chen got some kind of ideas about how this thing went about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what, what was his opinion? What, what, what was he saying? So, with Chen and his party, and with Kareem and these two big incidents, they figured, how about we work together to make something where we can find videos like this, a website where people can just upload all these kinds of things in one place. Hmm. So that's how the, uh, they're trying to get uh, the starting of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the early beginnings of YouTube, exactly. So, and um, what did they come up with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the first YouTube video was actually titled Me at the Zoo, and it shows Jawed Kareem at the San Diego Zoo, and it was uploaded actually in 2005. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's not that too long ago. No, it's really not. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, in a couple months after that, the first video to hit 1 million views was a Nike advertisement. Oh, is it JW Solar USA? I don't know if it's that. Oh, boy, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, don't we all? <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So after that success, things just started to grow and grow and grow. And eventually, YouTube became the dominant online video provider in the United States. Wow. Yeah. it's it's It just kind of happened over time. It takes time for things to grow like that. I, I know. It takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. You know, you see us like tinkering around here, doing things. You know, some people don't understand how hard it is. These guys were like hardcore. They were working so hard. So I just want to give you words of encouragement. If you're working on a video, you're working on a channel, never never give up as okay. long as you have goals you have a motivation and you just keep on coming with new ideas find something there are things out there um you probably think is not necessary look at things now they upload on uh, youtube today some people think they're all kind of stupid things but you know things that makes us gives us amusement we're laughing that bring peace and make people come together creativity comes out. see that's how we all met today folks this is how i met you guys Thank you for being a subscriber. So tell me more about this YouTube. Mm -hmm. After the following couple years, YouTube started to get things like 48 hours of new videos every minute. Mm. That increased to 60 hours every minute, mm. to 100 hours every minute, mm. to 300 hours every minute, mm. to 400 hours every minute. That comes to what year was 2017. This is why JW Solar already came in like three years prior to that. YouTube started at 2005, you know, and remember, subtract something like uh, three years, JW Solo is already online. So I was fortunate to be part of that thing too, as YouTube is just a baby. They were in the baby steps. Could you imagine that? And now we are all contributors. So how many now? How many millions? So as of right now in 2018, over 1 trillion, 300 billion, and 30 hours of YouTube are uploaded every minute. What? Yep. <laughs> yep. Boy, I don't know how them guys really control that traffic. That's a lot of bandwidth, though. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Well, imagine that bandwidth can probably provide a one old country, like a small country, international country, or a one old, whatever you call it, a one old state. A state of probably Maine or what? Minnesota? Who knows? Who knows? Actually, Man! Fun fact about the bandwidth. Mm -hmm. In 2007, YouTube used as much bandwidth as the entire internet 
of the 2000, of the year 2000. <laughs> That was the entire. crazy. The yeah. entire. So it seems like the internet was created just for them. Honestly. Yeah. So they, they use a lot of bandwidth more than anyone else. This is crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what, what, what happened again? This is getting exciting. Uh-huh. Now, while YouTube had this great success, there were, they ran into a couple problems back in the day. So... The name of the website was YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. But they actually ran into an issue with a site called Universal Tube and Roll Form Equipment, where they spelled their URL, U, the letter U, and then T-U-B-E. So that company actually filed a lawsuit against YouTube in 2016, and which caused them to have to figure out something different. People were uploading to the wrong site, so YouTube had to, you know, they had to change it up a little bit. So, YouTube, U, letter U, ended up changing to U, letter U, T-U-B, online.com. That way people could tell the difference between YouTube and YouTube online. Huh. That's a pretty interesting. So, just because of little discrepancy like that through a lot of big lawsuit. Mm -hmm. I, I never knew that YouTube went through that all that stuff, but you know I think they after this they they, they everything turned to be um they they sort out the problem right mm -hmm. everything went to, well man. they you know they figure it out and YouTube then just don't even stop there YouTube continue with a new thing I think they end up having a big place a, a successful place now they stay at San something San new something uh, uh what San yeah, so YouTube ended up going to a main place. Now, they left there and they started growing massive, gradually growing big. So, they think, ah, this place is getting small for us. So, where did they went again? They went somewhere. They actually ended up moving to San Bruno, California to build their brand new office. Uh-huh. Oh, well, YouTube's success, I think he has to do... So, how how they, in, how they incorporate it with uh, uh, Google? I, I don't get that part because... Let's talk about Google. Yeah, so the success was going so big. So something YouTube, uh, whether they they branded with Google or something. Yeah, you Google acquired YouTube for one point six five billion dollars in Google stock, which was finalized in two thousand sixteen. Hmm. So this this YouTube thing is is fairly new compared to people. You know, a lot of people just think YouTube started today, but if you look at it, still, it's just about thirteen years ago. Yeah, it's really not been that long. Yeah, it's thirteen years ago. So you know, any of the new millenniums, uh, whatever, they grew up with YouTube. They think this is just. They don't understand this. Mm -hmm. This is just a, a summary we given here. You know, we might be wrong, we might be right, but some few things we know because we've been around that time. But it's fine for some people to be able to understand this. Like, hey, how did YouTube? Everybody say, what's YouTube? When you talk to them, hey, check me out on YouTube, on JW Solo, you say, what's YouTube? What? How come you didn't even know YouTube? This is the 21st century, okay? You're supposed to know about YouTube, but hey, it puzzles me sometimes. Say, hey, let me give you, give you my URL for YouTube. What is YouTube? Or oh, where those people post crazy stuff? No, it's a lot of educate, uh, educating stuff on YouTube. Learning process. People, can, uh, kids can learn their ABC, preschool, you know, Bonnie, da, da, physics, chemistry, space exploration. All this um, renewable energy, you know, solar. All that kind of stuff is there. Anything nowadays you want to learn. Cars. If you're not sure, news, media, politics, you know, all the craziness you want to do. You want to cook, you don't know how to cook, Google it. And when you Google it, it takes you right away to YouTube. Mm -hmm. So you see how they can tend to incorporate to each other. You Google it and it gives you the information. You want the video, click on the video. So it depends whosoever you find comfortable to follow. Yay, you can follow my channel. I'm here, JW Solo USA, with all my videos. You think these videos are helpful? You think these videos are crazy? Hey, it's 
is, is helping someone out there. So continue to watch my videos, subscribe, like, and share, give a thumbs up. And we're going to continue again with Google, um, YouTube here. So what the next thing about uh, Google? Well, YouTube, sorry. Oh, that's why. Uh, same. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Well, with Google, they actually decided to merge Google Plus, its social media oh. platform, with YouTube in order to branch out and reach more people. Mm -hmm. So I, I see, I see um, this Google Plus. Some people know only Google Plus. They don't know YouTube. They think it's all they know. They post it like the all their um, sustainable stuff, renewable energy. But some of us have all those because when you start something, you have to follow the footsteps, post your video on YouTube, post your video on Facebook, post your video on Instagram, post your uh, video on uh, Twitter, post your video on uh, Google Plus, and all this kind of stuff. There are a lot of social media outlet out there. You can reach audience. So it depends how productive you're going to be. It depends how hard you want to work mm -hmm. to go about this. And it's a lot of work. So I'm just telling you guys, don't see some people's video. All of a the sudden they think it's nonsense. You know, there's a lot, a lot of people with a lot of work. Even this we're talking about here because some of us witness this kind of stuff. Some of us um, be part of it. Some people grew up with this, like the new age. These kids from school, they, what, that's all they know. Google it. Mom, Google it. Dad, just Google it. And now with all this uh, Google Voice, you can just say something like GPS coordinates and all that thing. They, they even put a GPS location there too. Mm -hmm. You see, for people like that, the tech gurus. Tech gurus don't talk like the way we talk. Tech gurus go with the GPS coordinates and they tell you, this is latitude, this is longitude, this, the north, south. Exactly. That's all they need. They show you exactly where they are. Well, I see what they created too. Mm -hmm. They started making all these, um, how you call it? Um, uh, the headset. You know? Mm -hmm. You started making headsets. You can start making all the, uh, uh, um, the VRs. You know? And you put them on your head, and they even have all these um, uh, 360 cam. They started mm -hmm. incorporating with that, and they started building all these um, all these other stuff. Google, you know, they don't even stop. They don't even stop dreaming. They keep doing what they do. So I'm just encouraging you guys out there who is on YouTube, never give up. I know some of you guys already put a thousands, hundreds of thousands hours. Some of you have been there for decades, you know. Some people are unfortunate. Some of us are fortunate. Some of us are not unfortunate. Some people go there for the money. Some people not for the money. But these guys, they work constantly, consistently, because they want to reach the people. They know this is the era, the good way how to go about it, and they never stop. So tell me about the countries. You guys, there's a lot of countries that uh, it's like, YouTube is already taking almost part of the world. Yeah, YouTube is spread pretty much everywhere under the sun. What countries are they? Brazil, France, Ireland, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, Poland, Spain, United Kingdom, Mexico, Hong Kong, China, <laughs> Taiwan, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Germany, Russia, South Korea, India, Israel. Tell me more. Ooh. Czech Republic, Sweden, South Africa, Argentina... Algeria, Egypt, Jordan, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. Tunisia, Yemen, Kenya, the Philippines, Singapore, Belgium, Colombia, Uganda, Nigeria, Chile, Hungary, Malaysia, Peru, the United Arab Emirates, Greece, Indonesia, Ghana, <laughs> Senegal, <laughs> Turkey, Ukraine, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Switzerland. Just Austria. like a disease. Yeah, it's spread right everywhere. <laughs> and I'm not done. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what do you have more? Romania. <laughs> Portugal, Slovakia, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Bosnia, Bulgaria, Bulgaria Croatia, Estonia, Latveria, Lithuania, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, Slovenia. Is there a country left? Oh, man, we're still going. Yeah. <laughs> Thailand, Lebanon, Puerto Rico, Iceland, Luxembourg. Vietnam, Libya, Tanzania, Zimbabwe, 
Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Iraq, Jamaica, and that's still not even all of them. <laughs> Holy smokes! If you think your videos goes all the way around the world, remember, we have people that work for us everywhere, 24-7, round the clock. Mm -hmm. You see how YouTube started and just just a little bit of biography. It's not like a, a bi this is what we know. Okay, we are not reading the biography. We're just telling you some of the stuff that you know. If you want to see all this kind of stuff, you have a computer. Go to your computer and go to uh, your channel. Check on analytics on that thing. You will see everybody's watching your video all over the world. You see, surprise because they have a hub center, which is a YouTube in that particular country. So this is how they just, sh uh, so like a file sharing thing. Yeah, in a way. Mm -hmm. But this, this is going to be a, like a, Huge server, but you know what? You forgot one kind. So United States is not there. Oh, you United call States them. is there. <laughs> well, I called everything but the United States. I know. <laughs> I thought we started this yeah, one. Yeah, it did start here. <laughs> we started this. They didn't call. I was like, oh, wait more. Uh, what is that? But anyway, so guys, this is the little bit about uh, YouTube and um, the stories and all these things. Hey. One thing before we go, yeah, they brought one thing that's called a live stream. Live stream. Now they got it a super stream. What oh. is that? Well, when that started, the live stream actually began a few years ago. Uh huh. First with a U two concert, and then next with a Q and A with President Barack Obama. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They they met the president. They met the president. It former was, president. The former president. Okay. <laughs> It was an experiment to see how live streaming would work. And after that, YouTube decided to make it available to everyone. So they did the experiments with uh, President Barack Obama. Yeah. And you too, the band from uh, mm -hmm. Europe. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. So th th that's the first guinea pigs they tried. Oh, yeah. So they saw, and I think they started with a, a live broadcast for, they, they, I think, if I can remember right, I think they prioritized this to, to certain people. They want them to utilize this uh, opportunity. They have that, I think, where they started it. They gave it to uh, one of the, uh, was that Olympics or something? Something they did. Yeah, it was the Olympics 2012 in London. Ah! You see that? So that Olympics, all you saw that that was streamed live by YouTube because they were trying to do the live stream. That's the experiments they were doing. And I think it turned to a big success, mm -hmm. which is now they brought it to their platform. They said, you have to reach a certain thing. They said uh, a certain number of subscribers or viewing. And they said, you are eligible. So you cannot access all this other information on your phone by using just the app. You have to go through the computer on youtube.com and go and sign in, then you can be able to see all these other features, the algorithm that they, they set up and you can see all the um, the platform and you can be able to get there and see the analytics and all the thing, how YouTube operate. Because some people just know how to use it on the tablet or maybe their phone or their, the, the Xbox 360 online, whatever games. They, you can able to access YouTube, but if you go directly to youtube.com on a computer, you follow the URL go completely, you will see exactly the benefit and whatever, thumbs down, thumbs up, where it comes from, what country, and everything. That's pretty interesting. So they come up with all this live stream they tested with the President Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. And everything. I thought something they talked about there too in the White House because they were... Um, the, 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 the White House press or something. I think they, they, it's kind of a deal after that and they get done with it. And, um, they started, they decided to make their own, um, app that's now they can able to go viral. And even that, the, oh, the other thing again, I think they end up making back in the day when you open YouTube on any uh, machine or device, the page is kind of wider, so they have to design it, redesign it so they can fit on your screen. The writing, the text, and everything have to be there. And um, uh, they decide, you know, even phones can op operate well with that. And now they can have a, um, even on iPhones, now it works perfectly with iPhones. It works perfectly with Android. It works perfectly with Windows. And, um, and uh, all these other machine, oh, on TV as well, mm -hmm. smart TVs. So you can access it everywhere. So if you buy a latest TV, 
that says a smart TV. You can go to the um, menus or other stuff like the main function there. You can see like it has a um, uh, uh, YouTube and it has uh, Amazon, Hulu is there. These are all apps that are embedded and YouTube is the primary guy in there. So some people are kind of worried too when they buy a phone and say, why YouTube is here? Why can't I just delete this thing? Why am I going to disable this? These are all, they take my space. Mm. People normally talk that. Say they, take, they took a lot of space. They buried all this. I'm not going to use it. But instead of you downloading the app, it's already there. So that means YouTube has reached a lot of companies so that they can embed the, the, the video of the app inside that device mm -hmm. so you don't have to download it anymore just click mm -hmm. so that tells you so that they can try just to reach people uh -huh. and e everywhere so you can say oh i'm watching my show i don't want to i don't want to leave my show and sit on the computer for this now it's on your cell phone mm -hmm. oh i have my tablet oh it's on a tablet oh now oh let me just stop this one. let me check it out quick on my big screen you go on the tv <laughs> and go like it's, 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 it's pretty interesting it's awesome it's awesome well folks these are some of the things that are really, really cool. And with all our renewable energy, that's why we have the picture on the background status constantly. So because of who I support or what I'm doing right now is more of this renewable energy. This is how I reach you guys. All this message we're recording right now is going to be meeting you guys live out there. So any words of wisdom or what do you have? Next to talk because I seem like so I, I covered some some of the stuff though. Yeah, you covered a lot. Um, okay. I guess one thing is that YouTube's still growing. YouTube launched a music service in 2018, and it's just gonna keep going and get better and get better. So might as well use it to share whatever you like because it's a platform that's not going anywhere, and we want to hear your voice as well on this on you on the internet on YouTube. Yeah, so you have your own channel, right? Oh, yeah, I have my own channel. So what do you do? Oh, well, on my channel, I like to talk about media and cartoons and other things like that. You can follow me at Oomph Guy. I also have another one called Oomph, where I sort of just talk about life. Well, sometimes you, you say this kind of thing, they don't even understand. Can, can, can you just spell it for them and see oh, if they can sure. check it out? Yeah. So my first channel is Oomph Guy. That's U M P H G Y. Oh, G-U-Y, excuse me. U-M-P-H-G-U-Y. My other one is called Oomph. That is U-M-P-H. Is, is it on uh, Google or is it on uh, YouTube or uh, Instagram or Facebook or that kind of stuff? Where, where do you have all these channels? Well, follow me on YouTube. The number one platform where you can find all my stuff. All right. Oh, well, I'll put that on the description below. Then you can check him out. It's more of uh, um, um, animation and all that stuff. He knows what he's doing. He's a young man. He started growing and he's trying to put things together. And he went to school for this. So I have some of the young geeks around here. So, <laughs> hey, check that out because you're going to be seeing more young people, more talents coming right from this channel on JW Solar USA live from Minnesota. Peace. Bye for now. Subscribe, like, and share this video as usual. I hope this video go viral. I hope this video... Uh, help some people to understand a little bit about uh, uh, YouTube and how things grow all the way. We touched some few things. There's not all the latest and all. We few few of them, a lot of the latest, but uh, not everything. If you want to know, you can check out with the main guys themselves. But this is all we can cover right now. Any words of wisdom before we shut down this video? It's been a blast being in the command center. Yeah, the command center is just shining. There's pumping power live here. Thank you. Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming, for being part of this show. Love you guys all. Bye for now.